Hold it. You're a consort. Why are you at Shiwen Hall? <sighs> How's he doing? Majesty. Is she your concubine? She dares show affection for another man in front of me? I wonder, how shameless is she behind my back? Mother, you know she and John grew up together. He was hurt because of me. Why shouldn't Huan Yun visit him? Besides, John can't even stand up now. How is John now? He's woken up, but his back's badly injured. The physician's treating him. Greetings, Your Majesty, and Consort Xiao. His Highness knows you've come to visit and wanted me to come and thank you. But, uh, he's changing his bandages so he can't see you. He asks that you go back to relax. He says that he'll pay his respects to both of you after he recovers. Majesty, His Highness has asked for you. Mm. Mm. Mother, Xiao. Please be on your way now. I'll have you and Fu let you know of any developments. But I... What? Yes, Majesty. Majesty, tell John to get better. If he needs medicine, get it from Rensho Hall. Mm. She's so pretentious. The palace maids who survived said, the official announced the fake decree in my name. Hm. And who else? But Empress Lo could have arranged that. Highness, I've asked for a sketch to be made of that official. I'm sure the truth will come out soon. And when the maid buried with concubine Joe claimed her majesty tried to kill the grand concubine, she was put to death quickly, probably to cover for her majesty. Why does Majesty go to Changing Hall? Did he suspect something? Don't you worry. Regarding the wine, I've got it all covered. She can turn the harem upside down, but she'll never be able to find a single clue. And without evidence, His Majesty will never believe a rumor. Doctor, tell me, how is Prince Changguang's injury? Your Majesty, his injury isn't serious. He just needs to rest. You're all dismissed. Yes. 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 Now, John, what kind of person is this Lu Zhen for you to risk your life to save hers? It's only a minor injury. It looks serious, but I just need a few days rest. Still though, don't let Consort Xiao or Her Majesty know I saved her. But most importantly, don't let Lu Zhen know. And why not? Why would you want to keep it secret? When I almost died outside the palace, Lu Zhen saved my life. It was she who saved you, but then went and fell off the cliff? Oh. <laughs> It's just like what happens in that opera, when the beauty saves the hero. Now the hero saved the beauty. So you don't need to keep it a secret. Listen to me. I'll make it easy. I'll grant you her as your concubine, okay? Uh, no! Uh, uh, John, listen. John, that was only a joke. Good. So promise me. Promise you'll keep it a secret. She still thinks I'm a bodyguard. I get it. You're afraid she might be materialistic. That's not it. I'm afraid that she'll end up like you, Chow. This girl, Miss Lu, is righteous and smart. No wonder you're fond of her. How about this? I'll think of a way to let her leave the palace. That's unnecessary. 
She wants to remain there, so I think you should let her. The changing hall incident involves many people. After her injury heals, we'll discuss it all again. And if she hadn't risked waking me up that night, I wouldn't know someone wanted to frame you for grandmother's murder. <clears throat> Majesty, that palace maid buried with your grandmother has claimed her majesty was the mastermind, but I don't believe it. I think she was incited in order to sow discord between me and her majesty. You really believe that? I worried you'd be mistaken about mother. Her majesty's always doted on me. She even came because she heard I was hurt. Majesty, I'm not going to believe those rumors. Nanyang. Sister, you okay? Sit up. I'll get some salt water. <coughs> Drink some more. Danyang. Don't talk, okay? Nanya, do you remember when that beam collapsed on me? There was someone there who shielded me. Do you know who that was? Well, I'm not sure. I mean, uh, His Majesty. His Majesty saved you. Then why did that person seem familiar? Nanyang, has he come to see me recently? No, no. There have been too many people around. It's like a market. He wouldn't dare to visit here. Oh, I heard the wine thing was a fake decree issued, not from Concert Xiao. His Majesty said he'll investigate it and said we can rest up at Jingjing Hall. We don't need to go back to Jingxin. Oh. Uh. When was the Grand Concubine buried? A few days ago. You took medicine and weren't awake. His Majesty said not to wake you up. They were really respectful when they sent her to the Imperial Mausoleum. I never thought I'd be unable to make it in time to her funeral. His Majesty said for the time being, we won't have to be transferred to go work somewhere else. They'll arrange that later. Now you're a head maid, you'll be the head of Qingjing Hall. Really? Mm-hmm. Danyang, you want to join the Imperial Kitchen. Why don't you manage the kitchen here? I knew you wouldn't forget about me once you got promoted. I'm gonna go tell Yuan Lu, tempt him with sesame paste. Yuan Lu? You've seen him recently? Uh, no. I, I just mean when I see him. No one has come here for the past few days. Uh, wait. Madame Du sent someone here before. She was sent to tell you that since you're ill, you don't need to copy the manuscript so urgently. Only them? Eh? Danyang, what's that fragrance I smell? Osmanthus. The one that the Grand Concubine planted in the yard here has bloomed. Go ahead, okay? I'll have a walk. Mm. <sighs> Why are you so dumb? You're such a bad liar. I was so nervous. I've never lied before. Unlike someone else here, who lies through his teeth all the time. Is that the way you should talk to your savior? If it weren't for me, you would have become a grilled fish. Hey, hey, hey. Don't you know anything? I have hands and feet, right? Fish only have a tail. How could that fire turn me into a grilled fish? Fine, a grilled chicken then. Grilled chicken? How? Uh, 
Why does everyone always kick me? Because you deserve it. Uh. Hey, hey, hey. If I'm injured, then who will serve his highness? Uh, <laughs> I told you I work for his highness. Hmm. How is his highness anyway? Come on, he was hit by a beam. What do you think? I didn't think Lord Gao would be Prince Chang Guang. Oh, and I didn't think Prince Chang Guang would risk death to save Lu Zhen. And I can't tell her anything even though she keeps asking. Uh, you can't! If she found out, she'd be so worried. Don't worry, I'm better at keeping secrets than you. Stop it! Stop kicking! <laughs> Ow! Oh yes, if you get bored the next few days, go for a walk in the backyard. There's an osmanthus tree there. It's my favorite one. If you're free, help me turn and loosen the soil. the soil look like clay from the south? No wonder it's not growing well. Dear Jen, by the time you see this letter, I'm afraid it will mean I have died. It's unbelievable a princess like me was harmed by villains. Though I wanted revenge, I didn't have the power and can only die with regret. The ring in the pouch was mine. Please get it to Prince Changguang and ask him to seek revenge for me. Grand Concubine, you didn't even say who harmed you. How will Prince Changguang seek revenge? Your Highness, I've been to Qingqing Hall. Miss Liu is slowly getting better. Oh yeah. no. Uh, <laughs> Highness, are you... I'm fine, I'm okay. Uncle, huh? how's Lu Jen now? How's her mood? Does she still grieve her master's death? Since concubine Zhou died, Miss Lu has been in low spirits. Then, go and see His Majesty. Ask him to find some way to let Lu Jen leave the palace. Yes. Sister, you're copying Madame Du's manuscripts again? Yes, I've just finished one there. <sighs> By the way, Danyang, can you help me deliver this to Jingxin Courtyard? Sister Lu, you're a head palace maid now. Why are you so polite? I'm going. Sister, look at this. A copper pot the Grand Concubine used to burn paper. But then, when she couldn't write anymore, I used it to cook corn. After that fire, I'd completely forgotten it existed. Wait, it's no ordinary pot.
A several hundred year old antique? Yes, that's right. I've seen lots of antiques with my father. See the shape, pattern, and the color? It's bronze from the Zhou Dynasty. Is that what you think? <laughs> Don't you think someone besides you would have discovered if it were? It really is, though. All right, hold on to it. <laughs> In a few days when there's time, we'll send an expert. Sister, but... Oh, but what, huh? Treasures management is busy. We don't have time to waste on you. So go on now. Careful with that. Don't let her upset you. She doesn't know anything. Don't worry. Many people can't recognize authentic items. Ah! 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 What was that? You okay? What are you doing? Why don't you watch where you're going? <laughs> Sister! <laughs> oh. You're Miss Lu from Qingjing Hall, right? Are you okay? Why do you come to the Six Divisions? Shouldn't you be in the Cold oh. Palace? Why is she here? Apologies. We were careless. Let's go. You can't go. Not that easily. You knocked me down, I'm hurt. But if you kneel here for two hours, then I'll be appeased. You're hopping around like a horned toad, and you say you're hurt? We've already apologized. Don't go overboard, okay? <laughs> you're just a second rank apparel maid, and so smug. <laughs> oh, you're so arrogant. Why are you acting like a couple of headmaids, huh? <laughs> Actually, Sister Lu is a first rank headmaid. What now? <laughs> We all came from Yongqing Courtyard. If you don't want to kneel, just say so. Don't lie. I am not lying. Sister Lu, show her your palace badge. Look, yellow, then silver, then gold for first rank. Believe me now? Guess I'm unlucky. Don't stare. Some lowly maids are opportunistic. Is that how you want to be? Hold it. Oh, B. Have you forgotten the rules? You should pay respect to your superior, right? Oh, what is she doing? <laughs> Greetings, madam. <laughs> hey! Keep your back straight and go lower. Were you taught properly or what? Do it again. Is she? Greetings, madam. Hey, hold on. <laughs> your gaze should be lowered. Do it again. You heard her. Greetings, Madam Lu. Mm, that's much better. Lu Jun, just wait and see. I won't let this go. Well, bring it on. We'll be waiting oh. for you. <laughs> what's happening. Hmm? Then Yang, do you know where the Imperial bodyguards live? Out there, pretty far away. Oh. What's that row of houses? That's the household department. It's where the stewards live. It's really big. There's a wood factory and pottery kiln, a goldware workshop. <sighs> they make all kinds of items there. Gold workshop? Mm-hmm. Such a place exists? Sister, you didn't know that? They're in charge of making everything here. They make all of this stuff. That means there must be an expert there. Danyang, you go on. I'll bring this to an expert. Mm. <laughs> You're correct. It's a bronze vessel used by King Wu of Zhou for praying. Look here, there's an inscription on it. You're called... Lu Zhen? You have a good eye for antiques. <laughs> Thank you for the compliment, but you're better. I only saw it was bronze from Zhou, but I can't read the writing. <sighs> I came from a... Family of antique appraisers. So of course I should know what it is, right? But you, at such a young age, to have this ability is truly remarkable. <laughs> don't worry. If they don't want it over there, the household department would be happy to treasure it right here. That's great. A treasure that's treasured is a wish that's fulfilled. Oh, you have a way with words too. <laughs> Quite good. <laughs> Since we both appreciate treasures, when you have time, please feel free to come visit here, often. <laughs> yes. 
I look forward to learning from you. Good. <laughs> A steward's been waiting for you. Oh. See? Please forgive me for the delay. I didn't realize you were here with a decree. You were loyal to His Majesty's grandmother. You may leave the palace for a day tomorrow. While out, find a temple for a ritual. With these gold pieces, dedicated to the Grand Concubine. So I can leave the palace? I thank His Majesty. Looking for Lord Wong. Wait here. She was looking for you. Go ahead. Did you see His Majesty this past month? I couldn't. Consort Xiao's always near. I had the chance to seek an audience, but... I'm already up to second rank. I'm sure I'll get a chance. I see. You should work harder. Since you've entered the palace, our family has spent a lot of money on bribes. If His Majesty doesn't take to you, then all of that money will have been wasted. Don't worry, Father. I'll continue to work hard. Get back to it. <laughs> Miss. I've lit the altar lamp you've requested. For the elderly, madam. Thank you, Abbot. Mm, and I'd like another one. Yes, of course. This one for Master Lu Jia, please. Lu Jia, you say? Oh, pardon me for saying, but the Lu family is holding a wedding today. Master Lu Jia's wife and daughter came to redeem a vow a few days ago. They arranged a ritual for Master Lu as well. What wedding is that? His second daughter's getting married. I heard that she's getting married to Defense Minister Lee's son. <sighs> Constable Liu, it's been a while since you last came. Abba, do you think this girl could be her? Hmm. It is. It's her. Hey. Happy day! The Imperial Supplier, the Lu family, is marrying off their daughter. It'll be a grand wedding. <laughs> yeah! Wow, hi! Wow, what a spectacle! This is great, isn't it? What a lucky young lady! Come on, let's get closer. That young lady's gonna be an official's wife when she marries. Really? She's so fortunate. What a happy occasion. Lucky I came today. Boy, oh boy. Oh, there she is. Oh, she's inside. Oh, I hope we get to see her. There she goes. Let's go. Let's go. I want to see her. Fantastic. This way, this way. Come on. Come with me. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, don't me. Didn't you say you're happy whenever you see me? 
Why are you so sad today? Is it because of young Master Lee? That's not it. It's just that he's no good. He's just not worthy of my sister. Not because Lu Ju took your husband. No, it's not. She might be my stepsister, but... Hmm? How did you know her name is Lu Zhu? Did you find out when you were looking for me? Your master died. I heard you were ill. I've been worried. You've been worried? Then why didn't you come to me? I was frightened from that fire. I was afraid I would die and never make it home or see you again. All right, all right. Didn't you realize? Jen. <laughs> it's my fault. Don't worry. I won't let you suffer again. All right? Mm. <sighs> Uncle Chong, Yuan Lu, come out here. <laughs> Jen, Uncle Zhong watched me grow up. And Yuan Lu, you've seen. Miss Lu, it's been a while. And you've gotten even prettier. When you stand by the water, the fish will die, and all the geese will run away. Hey, do you even know what you're saying? Uh huh? <laughs> what he means is you're beautiful, Jen. Hey, don't say that. <laughs> Greetings, Uncle Zhong. Uh, and you. Don't be so shy. You're not meeting your father-in-law. Hey, don't embarrass me, or I'll embarrass you right back. Huh? Go ahead and try. Because I'm telling you, Uncle Jong knows all about me. Like how my clothes were ruined by you. Hey, that wasn't my fault. You stood too close to the fire to dry them. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking to you. <laughs> you know, ever since you met that Miss Lu, you can't stop smiling. <laughs> really? <laughs> huh? Yeah, that's right. Ask Uncle Jong, huh? <laughs> so lively. Wait here. <laughs> Just look at those two. Why'd you go in a shop that sells girls' things? I saw this yellow beaded hairpin and thought it would suit you. Do you like it? Thank you. Yeah. Someone over there is tailing us. From the Low family? That would seem likely. Sir, why don't you and Miss Lu go? I'll lure him away. Sure. Let's go take a look there. Mm. It's pretty. You like it? Mm. Let's go up to the front. Is there something you'd like to buy? Oh, miss, you have a good eye. This one is... You see the color? It's top quality, mm, see? I see that. It has a natural luster, <laughs> doesn't it? Mm. Take your time, okay? Excuse me, how much is this? I want it. Only 20 tails of gold. Twenty tails of gold? Oh my, you're a shrewd businessman. You don't understand. This is from the Yue Kiln. It's famous. Twenty tails for this is a good deal. Look, sir. You see the glazing? It's no Celadon statue. And this Guan Yin is a female, but Guan Yin statues made before the Jin Dynasty were all male. I think you most likely bought it from a kiln in Huzhou and then buried it in the soil to make it look old. I guess you're an expert, huh? But, madam, 
Not so loud. If your husband really likes this statue, I'll give it to you. Don't Free. Me. Consider it a gift from a friend, yeah? You... what are you saying? Hmm. Eh, I'll just wrap that for you. I said stop laughing, didn't I? What do you mean? You were laughing just then. When the boss thought that you were... my... Anyway, you were laughing. Hey, Yuan Lu, huh? was I just laughing? Uh, nope. Your mouth merely curled. Just a little bit there. You... Uh, hey, oh, never mind. Whatever. Uh, Take this. Uh, hey, Chen, I didn't expect you to be an expert on porcelain making. Well, of course. Our family's porcelain is quite famous. I managed all six family kilns. I'm an expert in quality assessment, not to mention in making and glazing porcelain. Then when will you teach me how to do it? Dream on. That's my unique skill. Why would I teach it to you? <laughs> really? I thought your unique skill was embroidery. What? Eh? All right. Halu Gate's ahead. We'll have to part ways. Mm. Mm. But... Promise to visit often. Okay. Whenever I get the chance, I'll come. Then I'll go. <gasps> uh, by the way, I need your help with something. Do you know how I can meet Prince Changguang? Why are you looking for him? Mm, Grand Concubine Zhou asked me to give him something, but since he lives in Xiuwen Hall, I won't see him. See? It's this. She said that because she was harmed, I should pass it to Prince Changguang, and he'd seek revenge for her. It seems you know him. Can you get it to him for me? You should know. This item's very important. Are you sure you trust me with it? Of course, it's not like you're a stranger. <laughs> All right, I promise you. I'll keep it safe for you. And when I see Prince Changguang, I'll give it to him. Mm. Then, thank you. Hey, Miss Lu, your things. Oh. <sighs> A palace me. What's going on here? Hey, I got one! Don't snatch! Everyone can have some! Greetings, Greetings madam. madam. You're being loud, it's late. Madam, what brought you? Come here. Ever since you called me Madam, I felt a connection like an aunt to her niece. I was delighted. When the Grand Concubine favored you at Qingjing Hall, when you almost died in that fire, I felt extremely worried. But now that you've recovered, I'd like to tell you something important. But you're always playing around outside or around the treasures department. Will you still take that exam and seek revenge for your father? I will. The 8th of November will be the civil service exam I've asked. I'm going to sign up in a couple of days. That I'm glad to hear. Could this be a gift from a young man? Mm. Don't try to hide it. Who is he? Mm. He's an Imperial bodyguard in the palace. An Imperial bodyguard? You'll be killed if anyone finds out about it. No, that won't happen. We're very careful. He's a good man. Besides, I only got to the palace through his help anyway. That's your business. I'll leave you to yourself. By the way, you need a female official's recommendation to participate in the exam. Who do you intend to ask? Mm. Madame Lo? Mm. Madame Lo does work for Her Majesty. Don't spend too much time near her. And because of your looks, even if you pass the exam, you'll be in greater trouble from Consort Shao.
We should take it one step at a time. Recently, just one or two maids have managed it anyway. We'll worry about all the rest. After you've passed the exam. Rest assured, madam. Look at this. Uh, huh? It seems familiar. Hey, isn't this the Chi Hu? That's right. It's the spiked command ring. When the Chi Hu Khan came to see my father, he was wearing one on his hand. Your Highness, what's this ring doing in your possession? There exist two of these rings. One for the 16 Eastern tribes, another for the 13 in the West. Oh. I would suppose this ring is from the Grand Concubine's dowry given by her father at her marriage. Mm. Madame Wang told me that, Grand Concubine Cho said, that before she died, the maid who poisoned her and tried to incriminate me was working for Empress Lo. Oh, so that's why the Grand Concubine sent the ring. She wanted you to seek revenge for her. That's right. She might have just been part of the Imperial Harem, but she was still a cunning woman. She knew I oppose Empress Lo, and that Empress Lo framed me. She knew that she would die. She risked her life to get Lu Jun to pass me this ring. Because she knew I would not reject the power of the Chihu tribes that this ring represents. Hmm. Your Highness, does Miss Lu know your actual identity? She told me to pass this to Prince Chong Wong. Ah. <laughs> Unexpectedly, she's managed to help me again. You're saying this girl has entered the palace? Your Excellency, I saw it quite clearly. She even showed her palace badge to the guard. Interesting. No wonder the Ministry of Justice was unable to find her. Are we still going to arrest her, sir? Of course we are. We'll bring her to justice. It's no common case. This is a major case. Because... It involves His Majesty's safety. We can't arrest her in the palace, though. Huh. I know how to do it. Join the Treasures Division? Yes. I know a bit about valuables and antiques, and Lord Su has advised me on it. Not bad. If you want to impress His Majesty, an official's always better than a maid. It was bad luck that you didn't catch Her Majesty's fancy before. But if you become a female official, She's sure to be fond of you. <sighs> hmm. This year, eight first-rank palace maids will try and sit the exam. Hey, Lu Jen, you'll need to work hard. If you do pass the exam, I'll put on your headgear myself. <sighs> Thank you, Your Excellency. Father, Steward Huang said you asked for me. I want you to find out if this woman here is in the palace. My subordinate saw her yesterday in the street and said she entered the palace. That's Lu Jun. Yes, she left the palace yesterday to burn incense for Grand Concubine Zhou. You know her? Hm? Well, of course I know her. I've seen this wanted poster before. Chen Xiongyang even reported her to the Internal Affairs Department. But Lu Jun is cunning. She managed to trick Madame Lo by claiming that the names weren't exactly the same. Father, will you arrest her? I can take you there now. No. It's out of my jurisdiction. Listen. Find out what you can about this girl Lu Jen. Try to confirm whether she went to Yufo Temple that day. I'll go and look for the victim, Mr. Jiang, and once verified, report her to Internal Affairs at once. <laughs> Wonderful. And then I'll be rid of her. Do it this way. Listen closely. Hi. 
Huh? Hey, you forget to bow again? Greetings, Madam Lu. Madam Lu, I shouldn't have been rude to you before. The head maid has reprimanded me. Please don't be angry with me for the sake of friendship. Stand. Don't be formal. Both of us came from Yongqin. It was just a misunderstanding. We'll be more careful in the future, okay? <laughs> Thank you, Madam Lu. No need to call me Madam. Sister Jen, you're such a good person. No wonder everyone likes you. Oh, I heard that you were allowed to leave the palace a few days ago. Mm. To arrange a ritual for the Grand Concubine. There are so many efficacious temples here. There's the Jingguang, Yufo, and Yuanxing. I wonder, which temple did you choose? I went to the Yufo temple. Oh, the Buddhist rituals there are well known. The Grand Concubine Soul will surely find heaven. Uh, well, I'll be going now. Mm. Sister, she was so arrogant last time, but now she's so humble. I think something's wrong. She is such a hypocrite. Why would you waste your breath on her? We all came from Yongqin. Why be petty? The Buddhist scriptures say humans should be a bit muddle-headed. You sure? Because I think I'm too muddle-headed. <laughs> Let's see how long your arrogance lasts. 